Linden State College is an institution where the experience makes the education. But what happens when that experience becomes too hard to handle, especially if you're a first-time freshman? Well, that's exactly what happened to many students last semester. Over 20% of the freshman class were put on academic probation, meaning their GPA was below 1.75. And that number is up 9% from just a year ago. And that's even accounting for a larger class. The shred of good news is that there's actually a decrease in the number of dismissals based on academic performance than in previous years. But what is the main problem here? And who dropped the ball, if anybody? And what is the solution moving forward, both for faculty and staff and for students? The numbers are higher, but the overall numbers of freshmen admitted were also higher, so the percentages are very similar to what they've been in the past. But if you look at why those students are not here, it's not because they were lacking skills necessarily. Um, we had quite a few professors report that for the first time they were seeing large numbers of students attending class and participating, but not handing in any work. And I don't know whether that's an effect of the way high schools have changed the way that they're teaching or the, the values that they're setting less on individual work and more on participation, communication, and teamwork. So we're really, we're kind of trying to figure out what the heck happened there as well. If someone dropped the ball, it was the students. Um, the numbers don't show more students on probation percentage-wise. It was a large class incoming. It is true that they were fairly well academically prepared by their testing scores. Why do students not succeed in their first semester? Um, there are consultants all over the country who are making fabulous sums of money trying to figure that out and actually turn it around in terms of trying to help colleges like us uh, put in place the kinds of programs and supports and other things that we need to have in place um, in order to help students be successful. The word that needs to be underlined there, though, is help students to be successful. We can do as many things as we possibly can to help in that regard, but at some point or other, the responsibility is, in fact, um, is in fact the, the students. I'm not even sure they needed help. They didn't, I mean, it wasn't like the work was difficult. The students in my classes were engaged. They were interested. They had good things to say. They simply didn't do the homework. That's not something that, you know, you don't need, it's not like they needed tutoring. It's more like they needed a better date book. Um, <laughs> it's, it's more like they didn't expect to have to turn in homework. Um, there's, a, there's a thing that we tell people when they first arrive on campus um, in INT 1020 during orientation. In freshman English classes, we say in college the expectation is that you do two hours of homework for every one hour that you're in class. This year's incoming class didn't appear to hear that. The reality is that you know we were, we were seeing any number of instructors having students who came to class, came to class, came to class, but didn't. Um, but weren't doing the work and who seemed not to really recognize that coming to class all by itself was not going to be um, was not going to be sufficient. Um, we spend time in INT 1020 um, and in other classes in uh, in orientation, the fall kickoff um, at SOARS earlier on in the summer before the first semester trying to do as many things as we possibly can to help students understand that they are moving from a world where they know all the rules to a world where the rules are going to be different and the expectations are going to be different and um, helping them to sort of make that transition from high school to college as, as quickly as um, as we possibly can and um, and but at the same time, you know, moving from high school to college, moving from um, a situation where you know you know everybody, you're surrounded by friends, you're surrounded by family, to effectively being in a foreign country, because that's what it is when you go to college, be it at Linden or Johnson or UVM or Harvard, 
Um, you know, even if you lived in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and went to live on campus at Harvard, you've moved to a you've moved to a different country, where the customs are different, where the language is different, where you don't know the people, and where you're not surrounded by the kinds of supports that you had um, had before, and you now really do need to um, fend for yourself and figure out as quickly as you can. When you come to college, you don't pay for your degree; you pay for the opportunity to earn your degree. Um, they choose to earn their degree or not. If they choose to not do the work, then there's going to be consequences. The students have to come in and take advantage of the services. We can't force them to do anything. But the students who do come in and take advantage really benefit from it. And a lot of the students who are on probation this term are, are definitely changing behaviors and are finally you know, seeing the light and really um, doing much better from what I can see. I work with students who are on probation as well. Um, and we're seeing good improvements from many of them. You know, some students need a little time and some students aren't ready for college yet and, and they can come back when they are. And some time off never hurt anybody either. And sometimes it really helps. Staying organized really helps. Believing us when we say, yes, you have to do your homework, that would really help too. Um, but, you know, there's nothing like academic probation to convince somebody. Academic probation is a really good tool. Um, and uh, in, in terms of helping people understand what the consequences of behavior are, I think also academic probation is not the end of the world. It's probation. It's called probation, on, you know, uh, for a reason. And I don't think we dismissed that many students. So everybody has a second chance. Students don't know what they don't know. Um, you don't know what you don't know. And we're trying to tell you what you don't know um, in INT 1020 um, and when we say you need to go to the Writing Center and when we say you need to take advantage of the, the, um, the math resource room because there are tutors there um, who could be helping you with, um, with, the, with the problems that you've got. Or you need, you know, anytime we are saying that it is because We've seen this 150 times before, um, and we know that um, that with some um, with some help, with some intervention, you could turn this around. There's a lot of hands being held out there, but again, we can't make people grab hold. And a lot of times, they just don't realize that they need help. Students come in and they're like, "Okay, college is something new, and it's exciting, and." I want to do it myself because that improves something to myself. And instead of getting realizing that help is not failure, and that the most successful students are the ones who are taking advantage of all the support services that are available. Um, anyone at this college, um, absolutely anyone at this college, from the president all the way down to the people who do the housekeeping, are here for just one reason, and that one reason is to see students be successful. Uh, and so. Whatever we can do, um, we are willing to do um, to help our students be, um, be, be successful. I may not know all the answers, but I certainly know people who, who are more likely to know what, uh, um, what the answers are to any particular student's uh, problem or, uh, or, or issue. But you know, sitting in your room and, and, um, and and not going to class and thinking that all of this is going to go away if you just don't pay attention to it, that is absolutely the wrong uh, answer to the problem. Uh, you know, denying the problem doesn't make the problem go away. The problem just gets, uh, uh, gets worse. The minute that a student starts thinking that they are having, um, having a problem with any course that they are, are taking, they should be seeing the instructor for that course. Instructors have office hours because they want to talk to students, um, not because they want to, uh, um, to, to, to be there um, reading their email. That, um, we are all here because we like interacting with students, um, because we love the teaching process, because we love the interaction that we have every day with students like you. The consensus is freshmen have it tough, but it's never too late to turn things around for yourself Find out what resources are available to you, and then implement a strategy to return to academic responsibility.